Kevin, massive three points, mate. Um, today, obviously, going into the game, finding out that they've um, slipped up three each. It's massive incentive for us to go. What did you make of the game, mate? Well, just what a Saturday. What an absolute Saturday is just the best way to put it. I mean, to get that 95th minute use at, up at Dingwall was just fantastic. It, it lifted the whole crowd and then you just felt something was going to happen today and it just happened full circle at our side and what a goal to win it it just doesn't matter how it goes in it goes in I thought first half mate we were quite laboured I don't really think that we get out of, out of our half much um, Dundee United played well fair play to them yeah. they, they sat in deep and they just get rid of the ball didn't really play too much they got the ball up to Tony Watt first half we kind of struggled and that's why we made the changes what do you think of the changes? Changes were a bit peculiar, I thought it's some of them, um, but you could see in a way he was just trying to get anything, like or just any kind of forward play still going, and then obviously with the, the beat on sending off, which really did knack us, but I think what the big thing for me was, we, we started well the first 20 minutes, I thought, you know, we're start, starting to create chances, and then they came into it, and then we started to labour, as you say, but, you know, it, games like that win your championships, and you need to grind out results, we had to grind it out on Wednesday, and we've, we've had to grind it out today, but psychologically that is big for the team, because that's the first time they've been under that that sort of pressure, they knew the importance of it, they will have heard the result, and they, they had to take this chance today, and by God they've done it. You're definitely right mate, psychologically it's huge, right? no Cal McGregor, no Kyogo, Rogic, players like that that are massive for us, that step up in the season, I think going into this game with that type of pressure on, and it doesn't matter how you how you do it, as long as you get the three points, that's what it was all about today, wasn't it? I mean, you've got to also credit Benjamin Seagrest and the Dundee United goal. He pulled off save after save and he is a good goalkeeper, but at the end of the day, though, I think Dundee United did get their comeuppance with all their time wasting because it did bite them in the backside. But I think with the way that Abada took it, he deserved it because I thought he was one of the better players today. Um, but I thought you have to really give a, a standout mention to Matt O'Reilly. He covered every actual blade of grass out there. I mean, no matter what he was doing, everything was going through him. And I think we've got a real find there. Um, but the only problem that I see now is obviously Beaton will be out now for the derby. And we could be looking at a binfield of McCarthy included in that. So it's a bit dodgy, but we'll see how it goes. But best way to prepare for it. You make out another good point, mate, with O'Reilly as well. One and a half million for MK Dons is an absolute steal. Um, I thought he was brilliant in, in that first half, especially. He was the one that was playing the, the passes through in the final third to try and get us in behind on the United. Thinking back to the, the red cards, um, it looked from where I was sitting, that it, it looked a foul on Greg Taylor first originally. What did you make of that? Well, we have the camera, so we get the replays, and it was definitely not a red uh, yellow card offence. Um, there was definitely a foul on Greg Taylor first. There was three, t three fouls, you could say, because three legs were going in at him. Also, it seemed to be that beat on got caught between the guy and then had to just fall down with him, and then Ewan Anderson, just, as soon as that happened, he was off. But... It's, in my opinion, it wasn't a yellow card, and that's not me being blinkered, I just don't think it was. I, I sat there in line stand, so I had a good view of it, it was down my end, and, and it looked like it was a foul, and then it kind of looked like it was a tangle of legs. Similar to Tyne Castle, when Beaton gets booked for it, um, it looks like a nothing foul. I maybe understand why it's a yellow, because it's so close to, to the box, um, I can maybe understand that, but I did think there was a foul on Greg Taylor. The, the team responded, and they responded the only way that they could. Um, when they bring on the substitution McCarthy, and it's still now now, and you're kind of thinking, are we holding out for a draw here with 10 men? It wasn't really inspiring, but fair play to Ange, he somehow managed to get a response at the team, and they guys dug deep. Well, they, they definitely did dug, dug deep. I mean, Jack and Marcus, I mean, he tried and tried and tried. I mean, you've got to give it to him. I mean, there's not much else he can do, apart from trying to put it in the net. I mean, he did have chances. We could be here all day analysing that, but you've just got to, I think, You've just got to take it any way you can sometimes. And I, th I still think it was a great ball from Jota. A bad, I had all the time about it and they stuck it in the roof of the net. And I've not heard a roll at that park in a long, long time. And I think you could just feel that something's happening. It's it always like a shift. And, and I know we could be getting caught up in, in, the, in the array of a last minute one out parkhead, but we're famous for it. And, you know, it, there's nothing better than it. And long may it continue. Ah, you're definitely right there, mate. Um, it looked like it was going to go into a, a, a nil nil. And, and it looked as if that was twice done the United game here and picked up more points. And if you look at that, six possible points at home at United. And if it did stay a draw, it was picking up two. And then Livingston as well. You think of home and away against Livingston, we've only picked up one point there as well. It's it doesn't really win you titles today for me personally I think that's massive mate I genuinely do psychologically it will do so much for this team especially going into Wednesday if we can get the, the three points Wednesday going to be huge massive game um, but the atmosphere is going to be outstanding because of what ha what's happened today and maybe today is actually a bigger game than Wednesday coming up just simply down of the result beforehand and we had to get the result today and we fought to from there to get it so I'm absolutely buzzing mate I know everybody else is buzzing outside the stadium fair play to Abada getting the goal he's, he's pulled it out of nowhere um, who's your man of the match mate? 
very hard to pick a man in a match because I think they all tried their best anyway. But I mean, the the, the popular are, the popular point will go to Abada, but I think you've got to give it to Matt, uh, O'Reilly. He was absolutely fantastic. But I will just also say I thought Carter Vickers was immense at the back. You know that some of the the interceptions that he made were absolutely crucial because Dundee United did have a go. So I think he'd be close second, but Matt O'Reilly was absolutely fantastic. And as you say, one and a half moments of steal, and that seems to be a recurring theme with us. We are finding steals in the centre so so far with all the players we've got. Um, but as you say, so psychologically important. Let's go into Wednesday, but we had to do it today and we've done it.